Welcome everyone listening to the KC Carceral Channel. This is KC. It is the Amateur Video Hour. <laughs> if you enjoy the video, as we all know on YubiTube, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. There is another way you can help too, if you desire to. You can donate if you wish. This is a grass roots effort. We do not have any sponsors or anything of such to help us out. The viewers are the ones that are supporting this channel. For you today to ask any questions you would like. Uh, what was the worst? Uh, Reed Prison Inc. Uh, that was a private prison, and uh, they didn't have as much regulation as the state prisons did. Uh, and they were hired to house us, and they sent us down there. And I spent six years out of state, uh, and that prison was just uh, it, it, uh, when it started, it wasn't ready for what they had to, uh, that was coming in. Uh, how did the private prison system differ from the public? Uh, the private prisons uh, bid the bodies out uh, at about, uh, I think it was somewhere around $50 a day. Their budget was a lot less than the state budget. However, they felt with that budget, they could do the same thing the state did, obviously, but cheaper. The other thing is uh, staff training. The state has a rigorous uh, staff training where the private training was really not so good a lot less standard. The, the guards would come and they would leave. Uh, they put them through a, uh, I, I believe, a, somewhere around like a two-week program to train them to be a prison guard. They go through a rigorous test. I mean, it takes them almost a month. It, it might even be longer than that, but I'm not sure the exact time length. Private prison, the, the way they handled staff, inmate, uh, uh, was totally different. Just the standard social prof professionalism was totally different and a lot of the people in the private prison system they were there just to collect a buck they, they weren't really concerned about anything else that happened in prison they were just doing a job where the state uh, those guards tend to want to make sure uh, not only do they kind of uh, keep communication with the prisoners uh, on some type of level uh, the private prison, their assumption was I got a job, I'm going to do my thing, and I really don't care what happens. What was the $50 thing you said? That they, the, the private prison wanted to spend $50 a day per prisoner? Yeah, what they did is they had, uh, I think it was 2,000, it might have been 1,500 prisoners, and that's what they billed the state. So and they had to spend less than that in order to make a profit. Right. In the state, I cannot tell you the number the state actually charges per day but they put more money into it. Uh, a lot of it goes to security, a lot of it goes to administration. However, the degree of money that flows from that end to the inmate, it's, it's uh, a, a lot higher than it was in the private system. In other words, when I say flows to the inmate, I mean like programs, GED, uh, work programs where you get a little job and you do something, stuff like that. 50 bucks is not much per person. Okay, so a continuation, how was the living conditions in the private prison different than, than in the state prison? Uh, it was a cheap prison. I mean, they, they just brought in concrete blocks and, and, and built, uh, built it up. You know, the, the walls were already prefab. Uh, the state prisons on some actually have a little bit nicer uh, look to them, where the private prison, it was uh, basically a concrete cubicle with cells uh, and, and uh, what that was was nothing compared to some of the date system prisons. I, I mean, you, you're walking on a concrete floor that's in the state prisons, you know, tiling down or small things like that. Some of them actually had some carpeting laid down, and the carpeting was for their structure to uh, reduce the sound, whereas you're in a concrete uh, room, uh, everything just echoes. When you got to uh, lower securities, there's three tracks of securities in the state system. It's called max, medium, minimum. 
and uh, the uh, private prison system, it was basically maximum. They took maximum and medium security inmates, but it was all maximum. As you drop levels in the state system, the prisons improved uh, for, I guess, aesthetics is the best way to say it. Whereas their system was basically just a maximum lockup setup. Everything's steel and everything's uh, concrete. So in a minimum security prison, there would be, you know, it would be the, some grounds that were nice and better uh, structure to it and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But, in, uh, in, uh, in the states, if you hit minimum, there is no fence, there is no concrete wall going around the prison. Uh, you, they've rated you low enough to be responsible not to basically run off. Uh, and you have uh, greater access to the rec field, you have uh, greater access to like, uh, for example, administrative staff where we've seen a, a chow hall, and, and they don't, they don't uh, regulate uh, your movement as much. What they regulate your movement through count. They trust you, say, at about a two hour per period or about a three hour period, not to run away. And uh, where if you're in max or medium, you really can't, because uh, max you've got to jump over a concrete wall, medium you got to climb two fences with barbed wire at them. Counts are how they regulate prisoners. Uh, their their level of uh, control over the inmate considerably if they seen you weren't causing any problems. If the private prison was set up one way, one way only.